We are going to talk about obstacles, real and perceived. How do you handle obstacles in your life? If there is an obstacle in the road while you're driving your car, do you drive around it or do you get out and move it? Your answer indicates what kind of person you are. In a minute, I will try to explain your personality using the brick wall challenge. Let us discuss it while we look at how to get the red circle past the green square. Before we get to the personality challenge, let's figure out what is the difference between an obstacle and a problem. Can you have problems which are not obstacles? How about obstacles which are not problems? Obstacles refer to specific things in the way, whereas problems are usually more generalized or abstract. Let us take a look at the 2x2 two two grid of problems versus obstacles. Bad habits are definitely more like a problem than an obstacle, whereas your reputation is more like an obstacle. I'm not sure that this 2x2 two two makes any sense. Now that that is out of the way, here's the question. Let's say you were out on a hike or a long walk and you come to a giant brick wall. I mean really giant, as tall as a building and the bricks continue left and right as far as you can see. How would you get past it? Let's say you had any resource or capability available to use. Really think about it for a minute. How would you go about getting past the wall? Maybe you want to pause the video and think about it. Your answer about the brick wall reveals a ton about your personality. A side comment. Have you noticed that for every problem solved you create two or three new ones? For example, clearing the green blocks has created a monster goalkeeper. If you said climb a ladder or fly over the wall, it's a boring answer without much creativity. But your answer demonstrates that you must be a person confident in their abilities. I wonder if you have ever really faced a tough challenge. You know, not everything is so easy for everyone. You should have more empathy. If you procrastinated answering, maybe you have a fear of failure, or maybe a lack of conviction or commitment. Either way, try to take inspiration from the people who just fly over the wall. If you said you wanted to tunnel under the wall, maybe you just do not like addressing problems head on. Do you always try to worm your way through, or do you just like workarounds? I wonder if you are passive aggressive. If you said to drill through the wall or punch a hole in it somehow, clearly you are a no-nonsense kind of person, a real straight shooter. You might consider the purpose of the wall and the feelings of the people who built the wall and who need to repair it. Are you just going to leave that hole there? Are you a sociopath? If you said that you would go around the wall, it is interesting that you assumed that it would have an end. You might waste a lot of time in your life trying to go around things that cannot be gone around. If you said you wanted to take the wall down brick by brick, then clearly you prefer a methodical way of achieving things with a plan. Good for you, but probably you take a long time to get things done in your life. Do you struggle to get simple things done? If you said you wanted to build a door in the wall, good for you. Clearly you like to try to improve things. It is also nice that you could see beyond the zero-sum game. Maybe win-win solutions are possible, but did you think of everything? Is the door locked? Did you remember to ask for the key? Who guards this door? If you said you wanted to build a small cart which would have a ramp to roll over the wall, then you have been watching this video too much. If you said you wanted to build a catapult, then definitely you have been watching too much. Why do you want to get on the other side of the wall? What's so great about the other side? Maybe it's dangerous over there, or better to stay here. Maybe you want to be on top of the wall. It would have a better view. Maybe you should be asking more questions in your life. 